Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Harika. So as a part of the series that we are going through for the link queries, we have seen many examples with respect to where and select functions, right? So and in the previous video, we have also seen one basic uh, group by function, how to group uh, with respect to a particular column. And we have seen that there are some constraints with respect to this query, um, which is we can group by only using a single particular column. But in order to extend that uh, group by functionality for multiple columns, uh, we can have a different syntax. So that's what I'm going to explain you today. So first of all, to make you understand how uh, how it differs and how the, you know, um, applying the group by to different columns would uh, make changes in the result. So let me take a filter and show you. So let's say, okay, I'm applying filter for this as well. Okay. Okay. So now, uh, so let's say uh, in previous example, we have seen previous videos example. Uh, if I take only this as my um, group by constraint, then in that case, I'll take, I will be getting all this as a single output. So now let's say I'm going to group by with respect to quantity as well. So I'm first grouping with respect to the item description and I'm filtering out uh, with respect to one more column adding to the existing result. So this is what uh, the result would appear if we group by using multiple columns. So this is what we are going to see um, with, re uh, with respect to group by, but for that we have a different syntax that needs to be applied. So let's look into that and understand how we can write that particular thing. So for that, um, I'm going to pull a new assign activity and show you how we can write that particular syntax. Okay. So before to which uh, the reference file, which I have shown you is a monthly purchase sheet. So I'm reading that particular sheet into a data table, which is DT group by. Okay. So my input file is in DT group by. So what I'm exactly going to do here. So as I told you, it is in DT group by, right? So from this particular data table, I wanted to extract all the rows. So just that we are starting it with a brace. So from rows in DT group by, I, what exactly I wanted to do, I wanted to group, right? I wanted to group the rows into a particular, uh, so uh, what is the constraint? Like what, uh, with respect to the column name, right? So by, row of so this is just like the functions that we are writing in case of select and everything how we are writing it's just the same thing so i'm taking item description as the first column of item description dot to string and i'm going to trim it if it has any extra spaces so I'm going to, uh, for, till this point, it's clear, right? So we are taking the rows from DT group by, and we are grouping the rows with respect to this particular column into, this is just basically the syntax that we have to follow, but it's, it's good to understand like what we are writing. So we are grouping it into a particular group, right? So just give a name as GRP or whatever the group name that you want. And once after that's done, so we are grouping and the group is there in the GRP variable, right? So I wanted to select the rows from that particular GRP, but I wanted to have only the first item that comes in the row. So how I can do that GRP dot first. So basically we have many other functions as well, like some uh, aggregate minimum maximum and everything. So starting with the basics. So let's go from uh, just picking up the first row that comes in the group. So yeah, in that case, if this is my group, let's see, rise. In that if uh, I'm going to select one, so whatever the function that I've written, it will give me this particular line item as the output because I wanted to pick the first uh, row that comes up after grouping. 
that is the meaning of this particular query so for that after which i am going to copy this into a data table okay so that's it we are good with query so let's see with respect to uh, for item description how we can get the result <clears throat> so i'm just copying this into a data table okay because i'm uh, copying that into data table right so i wanted to give a uh, variable which is uh, giving the exact output from this particular query so let me iterate this once again for you if you have any questions it will be clear for you so basically this is having the input uh, data so the, as this is a data table i am going to fetch the row from this particular data table and i am grouping them with respect to the rows but what is the constraint here what is the uh, condition so i am taking item description as my first column and i am grouping into grp so this grp at one iteration it will be consisting of all the uh, I, all the line items which has rise as the uh, particular group okay so it is just simple like how we have done in the previous with respect to key right it's just it's the same so i'm going to select the first element first line item of that group and copying that into a data table so just that we've done and let me put a breakpoint here and we'll see the result while we debug it okay, let me close the excel it will throw an error okay so if you see here i'm going to give dt group by so uh, as expected it will be as we have given only item description as a, a single column so it has given only the four different groups right so under that four different groups it will be picking the first line item okay so if you want i can show that practically uh, just now we have seen that by applying the filters let me apply the filter again right so this is my so this is the only filter that i've applied so this should be the first line item which my bot has to return right and next in the similar way if i go for the box should be the first letter two three four five right so it's just that you can just cross check with the your output it will return as it is so now uh, the main point if i wanted to extend my search my grouping to one more column which is the second column that is quantity how can i do that is it's quite simple we just have to add one more um uh, condition over here so let's consider this as a variable a just like how we have given it for the group and here i will give one more variable b so i am going to add quantity so make sure that you are giving the correct column header name string dot string into a group right i believe there are no warnings so yeah so we are doing it with respect to two columns we are extending it with respect to two columns into a group so now let's execute this and see the output okay debugging it right i'm stepping it into so now we can see the output here in the dt group by so as expected it has provided multiple groups and as we are picking only the first item it has given the first items when it has um, grouped with respect to item description as well as quantity if you want i can just cross check over here and show you that whatever the output that you're getting is right or not so apply the filter 
let's do the group by rice under rice we have multiple so let's go for the three first because it has three first so rice three two thousand right and then let's go with the order again um select one so rice one four five four six Price one four five four six. So that's that's how we we can do the filtering and we can just group by and to cross check what is actually you know we are getting. So I believe uh, you've got clear understanding on how to write the syntax and uh, if if we can understand we can extend it to multiple scenarios that we encounter in our projects. So. I hope this video is useful for you. If you find this useful, do like the video and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So going forward, we will be seeing in the next video uh, after grouping by, we can see how to sum these all prices. So let's say if we have uh, uh, these items, right? So let's see in the next video how we can sum this up all and how we can get the value. So let's concentrate on something more, um, you know, enhanced versions after after extracting the or grouping the things so that's what i am planning to take it up in the next video in order to not miss any of the videos do subscribe to my channel and thank you so much for watching